This is the machine that you're actually receiving on site. This is before we've dispatched it to you. Please take note of how it's packed in its cradle. When you finish with the machine, you'll be expected to pack it away exactly like this so that we can arrange collection by carrier at the end of the hire period. With the machine, you'll find a manual. The manual contains information about the machine, wind speeds, etc. But also importantly, it contains the Lola certificate in there, which you're going to need on site. We're now just going to assemble this machine. It's best to leave it in its cradle whilst you assemble it. So Neil's going to come into short and we're going to assemble the machine now. So the extension bars slot on the side of the machine as you've seen, making sure that the hoses are on the side of the bars. And obviously make sure that the locking pins are in place and they're secured by the R clips. For your lift, you're now, you will put an extra bar on the end of each bar, so there'll be another bar on the end of these ones but our sample panel is not long enough for that, so we're gonna miss out one bar. And the last thing to put on at each end is the secondary safety strap. Neil's just unwinding the webbing. It's best to do it at this stage and it's not in the way. And again, that's just pinned into position and the pin's retained with the R clip. So just to point out that these extra two bars, there's one here at the front and one at the back, would normally go on the end of these bars and then the roof arms would go on the end of those. So the roof arms would be around about four meters apart. And the last thing to do is when you're ready to lift the machine out, we have a, a, pin, a pin which locks it into the cradle and that's released the machine that can be lifted out. But 